Hi, this is Monica. Welcome back to my channel, Suds and Bees. In today's video, we will be making this gingerbread cookie in a glass of milk soy candle. For this uh, candle, I have uh, molded, I have used a gingerbread mold to make the cookie, and I cut out a bite using a toothpick. Um, my mold has the indentation of the little details so you'll see how I created um, that first. I filled those cavities first and then I put in my gingerbread uh, base. For the gingerbread base I've used coffee caramel uh, dye from Lone Star and I have scented it with gingerbread by T&J. For the milk part I've used Soy Wax 464. I'm sorry, for this one I used Pillar Wax. For the milk part, I've used Soy Wax 464, and I have scented it with 10% uh, um, uh, sugar cookie and 2% gingerbread. Uh, my sugar cookie color is a very dark color, which is why my milk is a little bit off white, uh, which I personally didn't mind because when you are dipping your your cookies into your milk, your milk will eventually start turning a little bit darker. If you want to keep the milk section uh, pure white, just use a clearer or a lighter fragrance oil. For my wick, I'm using an Eco 12. Uh, that is the appropriate wick for the circumference of this glass. This glass um, is narrow at the bottom and it gets bigger at the top. So this wick is for 3.2 to 3.5 inches circumference, which I found that it was perfect for, for this container. So come on, let's go make it. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just, the wax is still pretty warm. I'm just kind of grabbing a little bit and just stuffing it in there. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. So, I'm learning with everybody here. <laughs> Here I have 27 grams, 50-50 pillar wax and uh, soy wax 464. I had melted some a little bit of wax with some uh, brown because I don't want to overdo it. And I forgot to record when I was pouring in the wax, so I just poured in the wax into the the cavity. Um, I avoided uh, touching any of the buttons or the face, so we'll see what happens after this hardens. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, so small enough truth. We're gonna see if the little face stuck on there. He did. Yeah, he did it okay. So I do wanna make a bite over here. And um, I'm tempted to just bite it off. <laughs> um Here's the gingerbread. Uh, you can see that he is, looks like there took a bite. You want to leave him kind of messy like that. You don't want to clean him up too much because it, it's a bite. So here I have 190 grams of 464 and I will be adding uh, 10 grams of sugar cookie and nine grams of gingerbread okay so while that cools off two degrees i'm going to heat up my container okay we are at 159 
And remember, don't pour the whole thing. You want to leave a tiny bit left over to clean up the top. So just a little tiny bit left over. And we're going to let this set a little bit. Don't let it set all the way because we're going to come back and stick in our gingerbread man. Uh, and when the candle sets, I have decided I am going to cut a little bit of his legs. Um, because I'm going to use them as little crumbs. Okay, so the candle is still pretty warm. 93 degrees. Let's see if it's soft enough though to stick the gingerbread in. So I think I want to stick them in like so. Put a leggy off. I'm going to take it out. Okay, so I've melted this one. I, I barely like melted. There's still solid pieces there. I'm gonna finish melting it here. Let's see if I can add some here. Mm -hmm. 